Hey everybody, Stuart here, and uh, I have some plans for today, some big plans. So, first thing first, I want to get, I guess that's not harvestable. Any egg, any egg? You know what, we're going to hold off on worrying about eggs for now. Um, I, I need some meat, some meat and some hides. I, I meant to get a little bit earlier, I'll put my inventory, um, just to show off. Uh, yeah, I managed to get about 19 of those. Um, it was just before I started recording, there happened to be a Parasaurolophus. Hold on, let's let's pull up the profile. It's, um... Actually, I don't think I tamed it, or did I? I guess I didn't tame it, but, um... Yeah, so if you can tame a dinosaur, you won't unlock the Dozier until you tame it. So, that is that, but, uh... Let's see, can I... What? I must be missing some wood, maybe? Wood and stone and, and all that jazz. But anyway, um, he managed to, he got stuck, um, in, well, essentially he got stuck in this big, um, this rock, and so he couldn't run away, and I was able to run up and, uh, kind of, like, show him what's what, so. <laughs> oh, we are already encumbered. Well, that's fine, um, all that extra stone is going to be kind of good for us, um, because... That's more ammo for our mighty, mighty slingshot. I think with the slingshot, we'll be able to get um, some goodies, right? Um, either like Parasaurolophuses, or if we're lucky and we get a good vantage point, maybe even a Triceratops. We'll see, we'll see. I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm eager to go and explore a bit and uh, just kind of see what there is to see. Interesting. The Packy. I'm not going to go for the packy just yet. Um, I, I hear they're brutal. Like, I was doing some reading on it, and they, uh, they can headbutt you, like, once and you're dead. I will go for that carbon, whatever, the, actually, come on, packy, don't get in the way. Now, all the ranged weapons, the further you pull back, the better, well, let's, let's deal with the dodo there. Like, the further it'll go, but at the same time, like, your aim gets all bad. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna keep shooting it and backing up, and you wanna aim for the head. Um, the main damage done by the slingshot is torpor damage, and so if you go for the head, it does more and more damage. You're kinda like giving them concussion. So, uh, now these guys, they're slow though. You can kind of outrun them for the most part. So, a real easy way to kill them is if you have a spear, you just you swing your spear and you keep backing up like this and eventually they go down. But it's it's gonna use up a lot of rock, unfortunately. Um, uh oh, he's getting close. He's getting close! Jump! Ah! Okay. Run away. Um... Is he still coming? Okay. Good. Now, our dodos are on passive, so I don't think we're going to, um... I can almost tame this guy, but I don't really want to do that. Now see, he's running because he's terrified because he's hurt. And I'm just going to keep pummeling him until either he, he gets knocked out or dies. And we'll get we'll get some goodies off of him. Um, they do give you uh, chite, chitin, or chite, oh, oh, no slingshot. Let's repair that. I think he's, well, maybe we can knock him out and hit him with some more. Yeah, I could tame them, but they're actually really good tanks. It's kind of tempted to tame him. Hmm. I'd rather not have a tanky dinosaur. I'd rather have uh, one that can fight back a bit, too. So, we're just going to finish him off here. But yeah, yeah, once you get the slingshot, you can start kind of stepping up a bit. Attacking a little bit more dangerous critters. So, that's something to keep in mind. And yeah, the spear would be the fastest way to kill him. I, I'm tempted to hold off on the spear, to be honest. I think with the club and the slingshot, we'll, we'll do okay. Um, and again, he, he sure is taking a sweet time to go down. There we go. Okay, wow. He, sometimes if you kill him up against walls, they... Um, this is nice. He'll give us a lot of meat and other goods. Yeah, keratin. That's what you get. Um, this should be enough high to actually get our sleeping bag. So, that's good. That's good. That's encouraging. Um, I'm gonna keep 
up with these trees. I want this whole valley to be kind of clear. Just so I have a good view of what's coming down the valley. And if, if we need to run away from a big dinosaur, we won't have to worry about so much. So, keeping them chopped kind of keeps the landscape wide open. Nice and clear. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we should set our meat to cooking. No, don't demolish. Um, their inventory. We got a lot of charcoal. That's good. Um, charcoal you convert into gunpowder. So you kind of want to build up a big stockpile of it. So it's fine to just leave, um, leave stuff burning, you know? All right. And yeah, that goes a lot of meat, which is good. I'm tempted to knock this wall out and build out a little bit further, like one or two out. Um, to do that, we'll probably need to get some more boxes, like back here or something, just uh, so we can break those down and have room for it. But now that I have like all those schematics unlocked, I think um, we can definitely do that. And and this again, it's it's like it's not a permanent shelter. But I wanted to have like a fairly good start on a shelter and just kind of the surrounding area being secure before I start venturing out in a more dangerous areas. So uh, let's see here. And yeah, you can set codes and stuff. It's, it's kind of handy. Now uh, I never did end up using end up using this this blueprint here. So oops, <laughs> it doesn't matter too much though. We we have to learn thatch walls anyway. So. It's, it's just a blueprint to have. I mean, if we ever want to re-roll, we can have like a whole bunch of these saved up. So, what was I planning on? Have I leveled up yet? No. Yeah, the leveling up has kind of slowed down as well. I'm tempted to actually adjust our slider a bit because it's getting close to the point where it's, it's actually kind of harming us how slowly we are leveling up. Let's see, I'm going to take this wood and go and craft another storage box and maybe maybe two if we can and I'd also like to what do I need for the bed still bunch of thatch so actually we got 80 thatch right here um, oh I need to be in inventory items thatch craftable oh uh, running on wood now too oops oh well oh well we'll get there um, and yeah, I'm just going to use this extra storage box to kind of like... Is that just the... <laughs> that almost sounded like something. I'm so like paranoid. I'm so paranoid about this jungle, I swear. Um, it's like every little sound I hear, I get nervous. But that's kind of the way you have to be. You have to be like aware that stuff out is out there and it wants you. It wants... <laughs> and not in like a fun way, in a, in a um, you know... You look tasty, <laughs> kind of way, which I, I guess is, you know, I'm, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to shut up. Um, and yeah, let, let's transfer some stuff. Like, all, all the animal feces, I, I probably can stop picking it up for now. Once I get a compost bin, I'm definitely going to start working on that because it's, it's quite handy um, to have a, a good supply of the compost saved up. So, it's something to keep, keep in mind. Kipe. It's something to keep in mind, something to look forward to. So, um, let's see here. Man. Oh, it's that crate that makes that noise. It, it almost sounds like, like a dinosaur snarling, you know, and it's throwing me off a bit, but okay. I'm just trying to like, un like, okay, now I'm encumbered because of all the rock I picked up. Well, that's fine. That's okay. I think under craftables now. How come, okay, thatch wall. Thatch foundation. Those are the two I need. I need some fiber for that. I don't think I can move. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> um, oh, and you have nothing in here. Okay, so this one. Um, demolish. Oops. Yeah, demolish is kind of odd. You like. You have to just hold over it. And there you go. And you get a little bit back from it, but not all that much. Like, not enough to rebuild it, so. Um, I'm going to drop the stone off and let's see, thatch wall, let's, let's bust this wall out too. I don't have enough, I haven't, well, I don't, it's not that I have enough, it's that I haven't, um, learned the roof recipe yet, but that's okay. Like, we're just going to have like a, a, 
an open fence here almost. I just want more room so that like I want my bed say basically this is gonna have some storage bins and whatnot and then my bed will be here so that's kind of what we're gearing up for. I'll make that shadow just see ya. And yeah maybe, maybe I should do the building at night but I really should be hunting more. Ooh that's coming out. Okay let's let's fix our inventory real quick. Um, just uh, drop off some of the weight here so we can run over there. Um, metal. Okay, I think we're good. And we'll fix that later because I do want to try to get that that one if we can. So let's hook. Let's hoof it. Let's hoof it. Um, and yeah, what we are out of rocks, unfortunately. I can well if I put this away while we're running, I can hit E and grab stuff. Might as well. And you kind of want to keep up with your berry supply and all that, so. That's another handy thing about the slingshot. Like, if you run out of ammo, you can kind of run away and um, grab more stone while you're running. So, it, it's easy to reload your ammo on it. Now, where did that thing come down? Uh, darn it. Looks like we lost it. I thought it would be up here-ish. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Got a lot of interesting colored dodos. Let's see. Let's let's get to the top of this mountain. We can also start thinking about. Uh, I might hunt that guy. Might have to hunt him. Um. Shoot. I I think I lost where it came down. And it's it's already been so long that it's probably already. Um. I think we've lost it. Oh well. Um, yeah, and I really want to start clearing this place out, especially the highlands and stuff, um, but that's going to have to wait till I have a good pack animal, like a Triceratops, because that way I can, um, well, I, I can come, come up here and, is that me making the noise? I think that's me making the noise. Uh, I can come up here and, and clear out all this and make it really easy to see. And honestly, like, I'm going to basically stay in there until I've really cleared it out. And, whoop, okay, we can, we might take a little bit of damage from this fall, but it's not going to break our legs or anything. Um, yeah, da, da, da. Jeez, I, I've been using um way too much lately. <laughs> I need to work on that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I think if we go down this way, it's looking a little steep there. Eesh. Oof. Okay, that kind of hurt. Let's let's eat some meat. Kind of heal up a bit. Oh, check it out. Oh yeah. So so like Brontosaurus, it was basically a made-up dinosaur of that paleontologist Owen Meany or something. I don't I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Look, look, and he's kind of a smaller one. He's he's not nearly as big as some of the others on this island. But the interesting thing is. Um, there. Oh yeah, yeah. A cool thing to see is they do knock down trees and stuff as they walk over them. So something to keep in mind. Something to uh, just be interested in. They, uh, if you can actually take these guys out and tame them, they're like machines. I mean, they can get like so much for you. Just uh, it, you know, you just kind of walk. Ooh, he's kind of coming our way. Let's let's clear out. Give him some space. I don't think he's too dangerous or whatever, but yeah, he he looks a little bit massing. A little bit tricky. Okay, we'll loom over there. And also with the rain coming in, I don't want to be lost in a dark, dark jungle at night. So let's let's try to get our way make our way back and and maybe, you know, it's it's getting it is you know, the you look over there and the sky's starting to get dark, uh it's not just from the rain, though. It's from the sun going down. So it's, it's going to be nighttime, and I think we've gathered up a good amount of fiber and all that. So I think tonight we'll work on spraying it, which is a dodo. I really should be hunting the dodos. They're a good source of meat, but ooh, ooh, it's just up there. Uh, we sh if it's not too late to get it, I think we can reach it. We'll try. I, I hope I didn't dilly-dally so long that we miss it. it Go around this enormous rock. 
because that could have some goodies, that could have some treasures, and it's worth going for them if you can if you can reach them. Oh, don't disappear on me. We're right here. Uh, e. Shoo. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, sometimes you get saddles. Um, and, well, there I go with the ums again. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It, it's probably because it's... I, I feel like I make those sort of little pauses and errors. Let's drop this. Let's drop it because it's kind of filling us up. Uh, usually when I record at night. So, you know, it's it's kind of late at night here. It's... It, it, we had a kind of noisy afternoon, so I didn't make much progress on recording, and I've been wanting to, to get ahead on it. So here I am, uh, recording at night. <laughs> oh, my enthusiasm level is... Oh, all right, now that one's really tempting to go for, but it does mean crossing this. And yeah, you see down there? You see him hiding? That's one of the giant crocodiles. So sometimes you'll be stuck with these kind of situations where it's like, Oh, I could probably make it over there and be fine. But realistically, I don't think that's possible. This river is teeming. Absolutely teeming with all kinds of piranha, crocodiles. And on the opposite bank there. Now, that opposite cliff is one of the furthest areas I've explored the island on my last uh, kind of warm-up playthrough. And at the top of that little mountain, there's a good deposit of metal. So if you need metal and you start in this area, that's something... Oh, it's just the leaves. That's something to keep in mind. Like, if you can get across the river and up into the top of that peak that I'm kind of, like, looking at right now, it's got a decent amount of metal and not much in the way of dangerous predators. Gosh, we could almost reach that, but with a crocodile in the water, um, I don't think we can, so... Well, let's let's just kind of head back home and work work on our base a bit. It's all about that base, all about that base. No trouble, <laughs> or no trouble, as it were. Walking through the the dangerous jungles at night. Oh man, oh man. Well, so far I've I've done a passable job, I think, of, of avoiding like too many deaths. I, I did get. I did get kind of stuck at one time because the sea lobbyses, you know, they, they killed me and I got stranded and it was a whole thing. But I was able, hey, I was able to get back from it, you know. And and so far we haven't had. Ooh, okay. I think I can make that drop if I kind of. Yeah, perfect. If we're careful and we don't. The last thing I want to do, right, is attract a. A big, gnarly, theropod dinosaur of some nature. <laughs> I, I, it's so tempting, guys. It's just, I know... And, and it seems like, well, why don't you just go for it? But, I mean, we just got the Fiomia saddle. Like, it's an object that I can't craft on my own. I, I don't think it's really worth um, risking dropping our body down there and and never being able to get the saddle back until it decays. So what do saddles do? Well, you tame an animal, and uh, you put a saddle on it, and you can ride them. It's quite handy. And, and sometimes there's secondary features you can do, like you when you're on the animal's back, you command it to do. Okay, you're you're. I'm tempted. At... He makes that weird noise, but I don't think he's aggressive. I'm tempted to try to slingshot him to death, though. Um, get some meat and stuff off of him. I also... No, no, no. Light fire. Okay. Let's, um... I just want to get the meat. I need that meat. Mmm. And we'll keep... Continue cooking. It does look like we burned through our wood supply, which is actually kind of bad, because... Um, well, we have some wood here, but I do need some for building... Let's, let's build our... Th we need to build three walls. Needs thatch. Okay. We'll build our three walls and then, like, maybe an extra storage box as well. Yeah, well... Up already. Already. Because <laughs> they use up a ton of thatch to do that, unfortunately. Thatch is one of those items that... It's hard to get enough of, unfortunately. Alright, so that, that is our wall. 
where is the foundation here? And one foundation. And that'll let us expand our little base out a bit. Now you can use, you can be a little bit sneaky and use your uh, foundation. Because they do let you, like, multi-story stuff. What is that guy on about? He's kind of making me nervous. I think he might be trying to go for the eggs um, that those dodos have produced. Because they're egg thieves. They, they kind of run in, they'll grab the egg and run away from them. So, that might be why. It's, I'm nervous for my dodo eggs. I kind of want to build like a little home for the dodos, but we're really far away from being at the point that I can build fences, unfortunately. Again, they keep tempting me with these, and I'm not... You gotta be kind of careful about... Pick up. There. Okay. And I'm also gonna... Let's level up our dodos, because it looks like they are... And also, I need to change the name on this one. Yeah, they're leveling up quite handily, so... They do level up just while sitting down. So... And again, just going in health, so if they do get attacked by anything kind of obnoxious, come on, eat. Okay. Um, they'll have some staying power. Now, dodos are, you know, they're chickens, and you're going to have kind of the dinosaur equivalent of foxes coming around. So. And I think, uh, like, one of them would be this guy right here. You, stay away. <laughs> Watching you. I'm trying to tame him, though, because what he could do is he'll just kind of hang around here and pick up all the eggs, and then I don't have to deal with picking them up. The problem, though, is apparently they're hard to tame because they, they tend to run until you have uh, trank arrows. So really, it's kind of a matter of us having to pick, like, oh, that, that weighed me down too much. I'm going to eat, eat some berries, I think. Um, That'll help with the weight, as well as our water situation. Berries weigh a lot. I mean, it's like six pounds. <laughs> and you don't, I mean, in the wild, you imagine, okay, the last thing I've been worrying about is how much berries weigh as I go pick them off a tree. Because they're not, unless it's like apples or something, like, they're not going to be that heavy. But, and see, we're less, we're, we're able to move now, so... Let's go ahead and just... We're getting a good stack of these dodo eggs, which is nice. Like, the, the higher the stack, the longer they last before they rot. So, it's something to keep in mind. Another Amar Berry Seed. Well, Narco, that's good. Well, you go through these guys. Oh, this weighs a lot. Let's, let's drop it off. I'm probably not going to ever ride a Fiomia. They... They're kind of, like... Honestly, they're kind of, like, a joke. Um... Unlike most dinosaurs, they don't really have any particular thing that they're good at. And they're very slow and just, frankly, um, pretty useless. Um, so. Okay, that was a pterosaur landing. <laughs> Jeez. Pterosaurs we can actually take out now with our, um, if you get a good shot on like a level, oh, it's kind of hard to see him. If I get a good headshot on him, like, you can knock them out, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, you're tempting me with... And the, there goes our moon and everything. Let's, let's get a torch up because I need to be able to see. So, okay, and I'm just going to demolish this. Just to get our way and, and get our... Um, let, let's expand our base a bit. That's what I want to do. Let's see, and, and we do have one storage box, but that's fine. But yeah, with the foundations, you can actually, because they let you do multi-story structures, it's... Oh, you're not going to let me move, are you? Oh, come on. <laughs> Just put it down. Or it's obstructed. It's obstructed by me. Um, okay. Th this is one thing I need to work. Let's just drop this, and maybe it'll let us move. There. Um, I do need to boost my weight a bit because it becomes an issue if you're traveling, say, deep underground and you want to collect a whole bunch of resources, but, oh no, you don't have enough, like, weight to carry them all out. So you have to do multiple trips. It's kind of a pain. 
But yeah, like, you can actually substitute a... Um, instead of a roof, you can just do a second foundation above, because they do allow you to use um, multiple floors, but I still would recommend learning um, the roof recipe. Uh, I think, well, the main reason is, like, eventually, uh, you need the low-level stuff to unlock the higher-level stuff, and eventually, the reason why you want roofs is... You can build like really tall metal structures, but if you want to get um, as tall as you can go, uh, well, actually, I forget why you want to learn roofs. It, actually, I think it has to do with um, climate control within your little hut. Like having a roof above you instead of a foundation is better. I, I don't know. I, I should just like not speculate on these things. I suppose. Um, okay, we'll get this. I still want to, you know, I want the bed to be kind of here, but I'll, I'll have one storage box inside here. Why not? We'll try to put it, like, right up against the back side. Because I don't want to really obstruct where I'm going to put the bed and all that, but... Oh, dear. Now we're blind. Um. <laughs> shoot. This is really, really dark, guys. Um, and I don't seem to have, I don't have enough for torches, really? What does a torch take? Oh, I need, I need one little, oh, I see, it's stone on flint. So, let's, let's kind of stone around hitting E, see if we pick up a stone. I think I'm still inside my house. <laughs> this guy, this is terrifying, look how pitch black it gets. It might be nice to learn the standing torch recipe, just because. Okay, I can kind of tell, like, if I go this way, because the moon is barely hitting that tree. Come on, pick up a random rock off the ground so I can make a torch. I'm also nervous because, you know, what happened? Okay, Narco Bear, come on. Rock. Uh, rock, rock, rock. Well, there's some rocks on the ground, so let's hit it with this. I'm probably gonna... It's gonna be like this horror movie scene, right? Where... Come on. Okay. Like I finally build the torch, and there's like a T-Rex right there. 